Lithium Australia's Adrian Griffin joins me from the Pro Studio. Adrian, always good to see you. Hi, Danielle. Good to be with you and your viewers. Well, we're going to talk about your proprietary silage process for extracting lithium today. You've just announced some really terrific results from your pilot plant. Tell us all, please. Yeah, well, the pilot plant's at Lucas Heights in Sydney at the facilities of ANSTO, which is the Australian Nuclear Science and Technology Organisation. It's a new plant, and the plant incorporates all of the circuits that we anticipate will go into a commercial plant. We started operating on that a couple of weeks ago, stage one, and stage one was to extract lithium from mine waste materials. And it's interesting, we started off with a very dirty concentrate, and you might expect to get poor results as a consequence, but the, the results were... Uh, shall we say spectacular, and we had extractions up to 97.5% with an average over a week's run of 94%. So we're very, very pleased with the outcome. Can you put this into some context for us, please? Remind us about the silage process, why it is so special in the world, and uh, how do these results stack up against expectations from yourself and the industry? Well, let, let me uh, tackle the expectation first. We won't have final results until we get through stage two. But of course, you've got to get the lithium out so you can process that and extract it as a lithium chemical. And we've done that exceptionally well. Uh, getting back to the process and what does it mean for the industry, uh, quite clearly we've invented a process that has a low energy footprint because it doesn't have roasting involved as do the conventional processes. Uh, we've taken that one step further, which is why we've built the new pilot plant at Ansto. And one of the other steps, apart from roasting that consumes energy, is getting rid of water so you can physically remove the lithium. Now, most processes spend a lot of energy getting rid of that water. Uh, and we've found a way of precipitating direct from solution as a consequence removed energy from that part of the circuit also. Uh, the proof of the pudding, of course, will be in stage two, which started a couple of days ago, and I can tell you that's going very well. Yes, tell us more about stage two, please. What does it entail? What will the consequences be when it's completed? Oh, okay. Um, stage two is very interesting because, as I mentioned, what we've done is uh, try to remove the requirement for ev evaporating water and we've been successful in doing that. And we can precipitate the lithium from uh, relatively low concentration solutions. Now, that's very important for our process, but I think the implications are even greater than that. Uh, and one of the, the greatest water balance issues we see in the lithium industry today is not with the processing technologies that we're using, but the brine producers, primarily in South America. Now, they have to evaporate enormous quantities of water. The process that we've come up with may well circumvent that and so have a much wider application than just silage. So where from here, Adrian? Is this a technology potentially you're looking to license in the future? Um, we may do. Our, our prime thrust has always been to use the technology to get equity in projects. Doesn't mean we won't license it, but our business model really is to utilise that to get project equity. But where to from here? Well, stage two, of course, of the pilot run uh, is the, the second stage. So that's the most immediate where to. That's already started. And I can say we commenced that on uh, Monday morning. And here we are. Uh, only 48 hours later, and we are successfully precipitating the lithium chemicals that we so desire to do and with very, very low impurities. So that's going to be very successful, I think, and we will have achieved the goal. Beyond that, uh, we've got to build a larger scale pilot plant. These things have to be de-risked, and to do that, you have to build larger scale as you go along. Uh, you're probably aware that Lithium Australia has been very critical of federal government policy. Uh, and effectively uh, removing the open-ended rebates that have been one of the drivers in this industry and many others. That makes us look very critical at where we may build the next stage. And people have to be aware of the fact that we have our only uh, resource at present in Germany, where, quite frankly, the support from re for research and development is much greater than we have in Australia. That doesn't mean we're going, not going to build it in Australia, but it means we do have options and we are looking at those options. Strong words, Adrian. Very interesting times for Lithium Australia. Congratulations to you and your shareholders on this latest milestone. Thank you very much, Danielle.